engine running. We have a liftoff. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Rocket Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. Armstrong is on the moon. Yeah, Neil Armstrong, 38-year-old American, standing on the surface of the moon. On this July 20th, 1969. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Putting a man on the moon was a quite extraordinary and remarkable feat, one that captured the imagination of everyone on the planet. It symbolized the way in which science and technology have brought all kinds of things within our reach. The innovation of the integrated circuit was the primary technological breakthrough that allowed the United States to land a man on the moon. Neil Armstrong's first steps on the moon not only demonstrated the technological development spurred by the Cold War conflict between the United States and the Soviet Union, but they also signified how modern communications were revolutionized throughout the second half of the 20th century. On July 20th, 1969, People around the world witnessed a live video broadcast of one of the greatest accomplishments in history. Neil Armstrong's descent onto the moon symbolized an era characterized by profound technological progress. This period of accelerated development was initiated by the space race, which began on October 4, 1957, when the Soviet Union launched the Sputnik satellite into orbit. This gave the Soviets a significant advantage in the Cold War because it threatened the United States' national security and global standing by establishing the technological capability of the Soviet Union as superior and potentially destructive to the United States. President John F. Kennedy strove to reaffirm America's position as the dominant world power by instituting a national goal to reach the moon before the end of the 1960s. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win. The integrated circuit became the essential piece of technology that ultimately empowered the United States to achieve Kennedy's goal and land a man on the moon in 1969. The innovation of the integrated circuit combined electronic components onto a more efficient, compact, and reliable technological device. Its ubiquitous application in consumer and communications technology has led to the globalization of modern society. In the summer of 1958, Dr. Robert Noyce at Fairchild Semiconductor and Jack Kilby at Texas Instruments both faced the same problem, the tyranny of numbers. There were too many electronic components and interconnecting wires to continue to increase the computing power of technology while simultaneously minimizing size. To solve the tyranny of numbers, technology needed to move past the discrete transistor, a device capable of switching electronic signals. Kilby and Noyce proposed two ideas. First, all of the previously separate transistors and other components could be integrated if they were placed on one silicon wafer. Second, if all of the components were made out of silicon, the interconnecting wires could simply be printed onto one silicon chip. The combination of these two ideas resulted in the innovation of the integrated circuit. The integrated circuit optimized size, speed, and reliability. By combining the capabilities of a multitude of components onto one device, it enhanced computing power. Because several components were integrated without tangible wires, the integrated circuit could be manufactured at minuscule sizes. And since the components were incorporated onto one chip, they could be purchased at a more affordable price than when they were previously sold as individual parts. The thin film of silicon that surrounded the integrated circuit eliminated deterioration of the electronic components, which drastically reduced the chance of failure in the operation of the circuit. The unique ability of the integrated circuit to minimize size and weight, combined with its nearly unfailing reliability and resistance to space radiation, made it the key component of the Apollo Guidance Computer, an onboard device that navigates a spacecraft and controls all of its essential functions. A guidance computer must be as lightweight as possible for a rocket to attain the speed necessary to depart from Earth's atmosphere and orbit. In addition, 
because problems that arise in space are nearly impossible to fix and failed space programs cost billions of dollars. A guidance computer must be exceptionally reliable and resistant to the tremendous amount of radiation that it will be exposed to during space travel. The innovative characteristics of the integrated circuit allowed the Apollo guidance computer to successfully land Apollo 11 on the moon in 1969. The effective application of the integrated circuit in the Apollo guidance computer marked its first utilization in computer technology. However, the integrated circuit did not immediately become prevalent in the consumer industry because people did not see a need for personal electronic devices. And that's one of the reasons that TI came up with this brilliant idea of putting digital electronics into a product that could go down to the store and buy, like calculators. You know, actually make this a household device and show people that they would benefit from this technology. And, you know, once you make it a consumer device, then then you're talking sales in the hundreds of times. Although the idea of the handheld calculator was formulated in 1967, a consumer version would not reach the business market until the invention of the microprocessor in 1971. The microprocessor combined multiple integrated circuits onto a microcomputer, which further reduced the size and cost of microelectronics. Each year after the advent of the microprocessor, consumer products decreased in price while simultaneously improving performance. This business pattern was predicted by Moore's Law, the idea that the number of transistors on an integrated circuit will double every 18 months. Since Gordon Moore's forecast in 1965, integrated circuit technology has gone from incorporating 2,300 transistors to over 1 billion. The successful application of the microprocessor in household electronic devices induced a vast expansion of the consumer industry and a newfound social desire to improve life through technology. This demand for personal electronics sparked a rapid development of the microcomputer throughout the 1970s and 80s, eventually resulting in an extraordinary reduction in the price of computer technology. As Dr. Blaise Lifik says, It all had to do with price. You know, once the price started getting down below about a thousand bucks, it became an everyday device that people were willing to spend money on. This continual reduction of price in the technology industry ultimately led to the development of the consumer technology at the heart of the communications revolution. The application of these technologies in everyday life culminated in the globalization of information and business. With the advent of modern communications technology, information has become increasingly prominent in daily life. Portable consumer technologies have allowed people to share information in a multitude of different media, such as text, voice, graphics, and video. The accessibility of information has provided people with the capability to communicate and gain access to knowledge instantaneously from any location around the world. This modern society is known as a global village, a world so interconnected it appears as if everyone is living close together. The extensive diffusion of vast amounts of information in the global village has transformed the way society develops. Society's rapid progression since the middle of the 20th century can be attributed to the integrated circuit's application and constant development in consumer and communications technology. Within the global village, there is increased international trade and foreign investment because businesses are able to communicate and market and sell their products on a global scale. As international trade expands, so does the competition among businesses, which prompts a need for innovative production methods, products, and forms of industrial organization, dramatically increasing the rate of technological development. The combination of enhanced international trade and accelerated innovation has led to sustained global economic growth over the second half of the 20th century. And since the innovation of the integrated circuit in 1958, the average world GDP per capita has nearly quadrupled. At the time of its innovation, the integrated circuit simply stood as a smaller, more powerful, and more reliable electronic device. But today it has become a universal technology on which the modern world depends. Without the integrated circuit, there would be no communication satellites, no GPS navigation systems, no laptops or cell phones, no personal entertainment devices, no modern military weapons, no large-scale automation, or space exploration. The integrated circuit's pervasive application in nearly every facet of human life clearly illustrates how it has laid the foundation for the technological revolution that now defines our modern society.